Nike's new launch is everywhere you guys it is a talk of the town everyone is adoring the packaging so did i and i had to pick up some things from their super light range so i got their skin tint and also the lipstick which i'm going to do a dedicated video which you'll have to keep an eye so today we are just going to focus on the skin tint which i have it here with me so let's get started with today's video and before i forget hi everyone it's me sanchari and welcome back to my channel simply sanchari hope you all are doing well now without any more further delay let's just jump straight into this video So let's start with saying that I got the shade match done from nearest Nike store because I was so confused between two shades. It was 330Y and I was stuck between another shade but when I went to the Nike store, I swatched it on myself. I saw that 330Y was extremely light for my NC42 skin and the sales person told me that 355Y is going to match me better because it matches to my neck color very well. well i was not sure because there was lot of artificial lighting going on so today i'm going to film this video in a complete natural daylight and we are going to see how actually this color looks on my nc42 skin and this is how the packaging looks like which is really very pretty i love the lilac y thing going on it's such a happy and calming color and it says nike super light serum skin tint which has vitamin e hyaluronic acid and sika extract you get 30 ml of quantity also it is hydrating and rich with antioxidants cruelty free vegan paraben free mineral oil free and also it has blue light protection you'll find the complete uh, details on the uh, back of the packaging and you get 3 years of shelf life also you get the complete ingredient list on the outer packaging itself and the shade number you'll find on the top of the outer packaging now this is how the inner packaging looks like which is even more beautiful i love this lilacy cap with the frosted glass bottle it has a good weight to it it's so sleek. leak and cylindrical you'll get the shade number on the bottom of the outer packaging and you'll find the same details mentioned on the inner packaging as well and this is the pump that you get which i was really happy about because i always prefer a pump and a squeezy tube packaging so let's get started with today's video i cannot contain my excitement at all i this is completely a first impression video i actually did not try it like you should do it so today we are all going to see it in front of the cameras okay so yes i have already done my ctm routine but i'm yet to prime my skin so i am going to use my next plump right back primer now the first ingredient is aqua so i think or i feel this is a very uh, water based skin tint because it says it is hydrating so i'll take about two pumps and i will nicely massage it onto my face So by the time the primer is resting on my skin let me give you a swatch of the shade 355Y uh i can say that it does not have too much of yellow undertone because the warmth is not much so this is how actually it looks on the back of my hand you can see it's nicely matching to my hand color so i'll keep it for some while to see whether it actually oxidizes because i tried um you know keeping it for some while in the store itself and in 10 minutes i did not notice any oxidation so we are going to see whether it oxidizes today or not and as you already know whenever i review any foundation or a skin tint i always like to use one side with a brush other side with a sponge so today we are going to do the same thing so let's get started with today's video i have taken about a pump and you can see that it has quite a medium runny consistency it's not too thick or not too thin it's right in between and let's see how actually it blends on my skin so i will use the brush on my right hand side that's a perfect shade match you guys i am really happy because i confirmed with the sales person twice are you sure it's going to suit me she said yes ma'am don't worry at all so yes i'm really happy with the shade that she selected for me but i'm not happy with the entire shade range because you don't have something for darker skin tone and this is the last shade you guys which is 355 why but i'm really happy with how lightweight it looks on my skin it gives you a very beautiful sheen which i absolutely love and it doesn't feel anything on my skin which is a great thing so still this much amount is left on my palette and i am going to use a sponge on the left hand side just to see how well it blends with the sponge
so this is the brush side and this is the sponge side clearly you can say that the sponge has given me a very sheer coverage and the brush has given me a beautiful light coverage uh, the darkness has not covered at all i can see some grayness going on also i've got a breakout over here which has not covered well so let me go with the second layer on each side of my face just to see how actually it looks so i took another pump and if you stay in mumbai nearby bandra khar andheri area i would suggest go to the khar store because they really have a wide range of beauty makeup products um, they have two floor uh, ground floor you will get all the makeup stuff and on the first floor you will get all the skin care products and their fragrances and the second layer still this much amount is left on my palette but let me tell you even with two layers of this tint in it app actually feels very very lightweight and i can see a very satiny sheen going on which i am totally loving because it gives me a very healthy looking skin on its own and the shade match oh my god it is my perfect match in a bottle that is what i can say and the best part is i will not have to bring the skin tint down to my neck to match my neck because it's matching my neck pretty well on the camera i feel it's looking bit light but when i see in the mirror it's my perfect match so it's always better if you're confused between the shade online it's better to go to your nearest store and get your shade match done that way you will save your money and you'll not end up buying a wrong shade so i will uh, do the rest of my face makeup and be right back to tell you more about the skin tint and also i'll see if i can insert a wear test so yes so guys i'm back after full face of makeup and i literally forgot to tell you the time when i actually finished applying the foundation which was 12:15 in the afternoon and we are going to start our wear test past that time and now currently it's 1:05 pm as you all can see so i did my full face of makeup my creams my powders everything just went on smoothly as butter my skin is acting a lot lately because we are uh, nearing to winter and my skin is dry flaky there are some patches here and there but i was surprised that it did not cling on to that at all it is not emphasizing my texture be it cream or powder everything just went on smoothly effortlessly without me doing much of a work it was so easy you guys and i did some color correction around my mouth area because that was much needed as my grayness was peeking through so i used my swiss beauty concealer and everything is now balanced out it absolutely feather like weight and i mean you get a beautiful coverage if you're using a brush you get a light to medium coverage you can totally build up because it's not making my face look cakey at all even where i have got dry patches it's not uh, caking up in those area plus this is something you will love for your day to day wear i think it is going to suit each and every skin type because it's not too overly matte or dewy it's right in between you have seen the amount of sheen it provides which looks absolutely healthy i think i will use it a lot in my coming days if you are nc42 i think this is the right shade match for you also i can see that my pores have visibly reduced i did not use any kind of pore blurring primer you have seen me using the nyx plum right back primer which helps in providing hydration suppleness and maintaining your skin's elasticity with adding some plumpness to the skin but this content has nicely blurred out my pores it did not blur out to an extend but it did minimize it which i'm totally loving and uh, it has evened out my skin to an extent but it does not cover your uh, imperfection so well because this is just a skin tint it is not your full coverage foundation even if you use 2 to 3 layer it is going to make sure that your skin breathes from within and it gives you a little bit more coverage than before so i think i will settle for 1 to 2 layer and i will not go with more layer because if i want a full coverage skin tint why would i settle for a skin tint i will definitely choose a foundation that has more coverage also let's check whether the skin tint has oxidized or not i can surely say that it has definitely oxidized because the skin tint has settled into my skin and now it's my skin tone color so let me take a fresh pump and 
this is the fresh swatch you guys clearly you can see the difference for yourself it has definitely oxidized to one shade darker which i think is not a problem at all on me most of my skin tint and foundation definitely oxidizes but i am really enjoying the texture and the formulation it's buttery smooth when you feel it and the formulation just melts into your skin so this skin tint gets a total thumbs up from my end i would love to recommend it to everyone but i cannot do that looking at the shade range but if you fit in this 10 shade then i think you will love the formulation a lot is just for rupees 899 and you get a good amount of quantity which is 30 ml but if you don't want to get it at full price just wait for some good discount and probably you can have a good buy Hi everyone I'm back after 5 hours and this is the current situation of my face so before I take off my makeup I thought I will do this wet test and show you how this skin tint is actually holding up on my sweaty skin so you can clearly see what is exactly happening the skin tint is literally melting off it's getting separated from my forehead area from my chin look at the amount of sweat i am releasing this happens every time when i enter extremely hot and humid climate and the current climate is worst you guys it's worse than i've ever experienced so i can say that i've not gone too much oily in 5 hours and it has not settled in any of my fine lines but i can say that my pores are now visible but the foundation is not holding up well you guys and i always prefer my foundations to be waterproof and water resistant but nowhere on nika app i could find they have mentioned whether the skin tint is waterproof or water resistant and for how long is it going to last on our skin whether it is going to survive this hot and humid climate they have not claimed anything like such they are playing really very safe but if you have sweaty skin like me this will be the situation i really want to be crystal clear i really want to be without filter to show you what exactly happens if you are heading out of the door and if you are in under the sun and if you are in ac all the time the skin tint is definitely going to last pretty well but the moment you are heading out of the door you will start sweating if you have a sweaty skin like me All right you guys it's a wrap for today hope you found the content helpful and informative if you did please take a moment to like share subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell button you can also follow me on my social handles whose link i have mentioned it in the description box please come and say hi and i will see you soon with my next one till then bye bye take care